So today I'm going to show you how you can download and install this tool that's going to allow you to retrieve comments from YouTube videos. So this tool is one part of a bigger project where I also plan on adding the functionality to retrieve the transcripts from the videos. And you might be wondering, Hector, how is that going to be useful for me? Well, you know, I don't know that it'll be useful for you, but personally for me, I could really use a tool like this because as you know, I make videos about AI stuff and a part of keeping up with AI stuff is watching the content of other creators that also make AI stuff, right? Um, I really like content from David Andrej. I really like content from Wes Roth. And I think World of AI also keeps up with it pretty good. But AI or no AI, there's still that time constraint that I have where I have to decide if I divide my time with learning new things that I want to do for my videos and also recording the videos, or if I want to catch up on AI news or watch other people's content to see what it is that they're working on. Now, most days I definitely don't have hours to catch up on this content. Some days I don't even have a few minutes to, you know, look into this. But with this tool, I can really just get the link of the video. I can copy it on here. And once I run it, I'm going to get back some files that are going to include the output for all of these comments. And I'm going to actually format them in three different styles. I'm going to format them in JSON. I'm going to format them in CSV and also just in Markdown. Now, in later stages of this project, I do plan on also implementing this into a Core AI project where I build different agents to either analyze the comments or basically create reports on the feedback that the people are giving. But that's not what we're worried about today. So let me show you how you can set up this tool on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is on this new window of VS Code, we're going to go to Terminal, New Terminal. And next, we're going to download the code, or rather, we're going to copy the repo to our machine. I'm going to leave the code in the description. But basically, once you open that link, you're going to go to this button here, Code. You're going to click this copy symbol right here. And then you're going to do the command git clone. And then you're going to paste that on here on your command line and then just press enter. As you can see here, it downloaded. If you get an error that says git command doesn't exist or something like that, that means that you need to install git in your computer. And if this is the first time you're working with tools like this, I'm also gonna leave a link in the description for a tutorial that's gonna help you set those up. And you can see here on the left that the folder with the files that we need for this tool have already been downloaded. So now let's go ahead and change the location of the current folder we are to the one of our project. So we're gonna do CD, that just means change directory and start typing YouTube and then press tab so it completes the command so that's the name of the folder right youtube comment fetcher then just press enter and now we're inside the folder that has our project files so now because this is a python project we do need to make sure that the dependencies that are needed for this project to run are installed in our machine and the way we're going to install these is going to be with this .toml file so this .toml file that we have right here basically lists all of the dependencies all the libraries that the project needs in order to run so instead of you having to install them one by one using pip we're just going to do one command and it'll be able to load them into your project and the command for that is just going to be poetry install dash dash no root then you're going to press enter and what's nice about using this dependency handler is that it's also going to let you start up your python virtual environment so once your dependencies have finished installing we're going to go ahead and do the command poetry shell and as you can see right here a virtual environment has been created within your project folder again if the poetry command didn't work that means that you also need to install poetry in your machine. That same video that I talked about earlier, which is in the description, is going to walk you through installing all of those tools so that you don't have to stress too much about figuring out how to do it on your own. So now that we've installed all of our Python dependencies, let's go ahead and run our project using python main.py. Here we're asked for the URL. So let's copy a video URL from a different video. Let's try this one right here. Let's paste it. And you can see here we got this 400 client error. And the reason why we're getting this error is because we haven't entered our API key for our project. So if you want to use the YouTube API, you do have to make an account here at console.google.cloud. Once you start your account there, you're going to select a new project. Let's just go to new project. You can call it whatever you want. I'm not actually going to use this API key. Here you'll see it loading up. Then here you can select the project you created. You're going to go to API services and then enable APIs and services right here. At the top search, you're going to type YouTube. And right here you'll find YouTube Data API v3. For this, let's go ahead and click enable. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and go to credentials right here. Create credentials and you're going to click API key. And always remember to keep these keys safe. Don't share them with anyone because again, that's linked to your account. That's going to be linked to your billing. So, you know, you don't want anybody using up your credits. You don't get charged for using the YouTube API, but there are just some limits on the amount of requests that you can make per minute. So once you get your API key, you go back to this .env file and in here between quotations, you're going to paste the API key. Make sure you don't add any extra characters or any extra spaces. And once you add your value in here, make sure you save your file. So now that we've added our API key, let's go ahead and try running our project one more time. So let's copy a URL from a video, enter it here. And we can see right here that it was able to retrieve the data for that video. And we also were able to save our files for these new comments. And just to give you a little more context on how this tool works, if we go to our main.py file, 
you're going to see all these lines of code, which again is the logic for it. And maybe if you're not too familiar with programming with Python, that can seem a little bit overwhelming. But just to give you a very clean summary of what this does is in one part, it just gets the credentials for your API key from this file where we stored it. After that, now that it has the API key credentials, it can make the API request to Google's API. Once it makes that request, it then retrieves that data and it will start processing it so that it can save it to a file. And then we have some different logic to when we save it into a markdown file, when we save it to a CSV file, and when we save it to JSON. And then we also have one section where we extract the video ID from the URL that you paste in there. Now I could spend hours talking about this, about the code and talking about Python, but to me it seems that one of the quickest ways that people are learning is by First, starting out with some kind of template project and then shifting that into a project that has either more specific functionality for their use case or really they just start playing around with it and either break it or just make something completely different with it. But I like giving you guys something to start off with and then make your own. And if you feel like maybe sometimes you get a little bit too stuck on these projects or maybe you know, you feel like you're the only one working on them and you don't ever have anybody to get feedback from or to give you ideas on these projects, then I'd like to invite you to my school community. That's in fact how I got the idea for this project because one of the members on there reached out, they needed a little bit of help and they said they wanted to build something to retrieve YouTube comments. And I thought, hey, you know, that would actually be super useful for me because I don't have time to be watching YouTube videos anymore. And if you feel like you need a little bit more help for your project, whether it's for your business or just a personal project, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can book a one on one call with me completely free. And I'll be more than happy to help you with that. I'm really excited for all the stuff you guys are learning, for all the stuff you guys are showing me with your projects and the other ideas you have for building things with agents, with career AI and other frameworks. And I'm really looking forward to continuing these collaborations with you all. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.